Hey everyone, this is Gary, and uh, in this video, I want to try and clear up um, something that I see a lot that causes confusion. So, what I'm actually talking about here is I don't recommend that you store your photos on your internal drive or your boot drive. Uh, I recommend that you keep your photos on a separate device either an external drive or a second internal drive if you're on a tower, if you're on a laptop, then yes, an external mobile, de mobile device. Um, but don't store them on the same drive that you boot from. And there are reasons for that, dealing with performance. And also, um, at some point, if you keep storing images on your internal drive, especially on a laptop, at some point you're going to fill it up and that's not a good thing performance is going to slow to a crawl so the idea is to get your images off of your internal drive and that creates confusion when you're dealing with Lightroom so I'm gonna cover two different scenarios scenario number one you're gonna copy your photos from your internal drive to an external drive or another drive uh, and you're new to Lightroom and you haven't yet created a catalog or you've created a catalog but you don't really care about you know you don't mind creating another new catalog whatever so that would be if you're new to Lightroom and the second scenario would be if you already have a pre-existing catalog with a lot of edits and a lot of collections and a lot of settings and you want to keep those settings in other words you want to move the photos off of your internal drive to another drive but you want to keep your catalog intact the the procedure should be a seamless one and we can do that but let's address the first scenario first because it's a little easier So I just want to show you, here is my folder that has all of the images that I normally manage from within Lightroom. I've got other folders here that have photos, but they're not in Lightroom. It's not a big deal. It doesn't matter. This is the folder that we're concerned about. So my rule of thumb with Lightroom, my golden rule, is to always have the photos that you want Lightroom to manage in one master folder. In my case, that's this one called LR underscore photos. It's on my drive, not my boot drive. I have another drive called photos. So it's on that drive. Here's the folder. Here are all the subfolders that have all of my images. Now it so happens I have over 40,000 photos here. So to create a new catalog and then import all of these photos using add, which is what we, you would do in this scenario, takes almost an hour. I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to show you what you would do. We're going to pretend that this folder Lightroom underscore photos is currently on your boot drive or your internal drive if you're on a laptop and you've already copied this folder over to your external drive. Now, the thing is, if you don't know how to do that, then you don't understand your computer's file system and you need to understand that. There's plenty of online YouTube videos uh, it, you know, it'll take 15 minutes to a half an hour out of your time to understand how to copy from one folder or device to another folder or device. That's a separate issue. Okay, so let's, uh, let's pretend that you've already copied your images over to your external drive and they're in one master folder called, in my case, Lightroom underscore photos, and you've got subfolders, whatever you want. Now, on most machines windows and mac there's a folder called pictures and most image editing programs default to looking for that folder so you may already have your images on your internal drive in a folder called pictures and if that's the case great all you need to do is drag that folder to your external device. All right, so we're going to pretend we've done that. In my case, instead of pictures, LR underscore photos is my master folder. Okay, so here is my catalog that I use for most of the photos for my professional work. So I've got a bunch of folders organized by date and then some just, just some folders organized by client, whatever. So this is a normal catalog with a bunch of photos in it, right? I've got about 10,000 
in this folder. Now I've got actually a lot more than 10,000 images in this Lightroom LR underscore photos folder, but I've only imported the ones that are most important to me and that amounts about 10,000. But we're going to create a new catalog because in this scenario, you're new to Lightroom. So you're going to go to file, new catalog, and we need to first decide where it's going to go. Save it in our pictures folder on our internal drive because yes, you can put the catalog there. That's fine. It's the photos that shouldn't be on your internal drive. So I'm going to call it test and then I'm going to hit create. Okay, so Lightroom created a new catalog called test and I'm going to hide Lightroom for a second because I want to show you. Here's my pictures folder. Here's a new folder called test inside of which is this catalog called test. Okay, so it's empty. There's nothing in here. So we need to import the photos that we copied from our internal drive to our external device. So you go import, find the photos you want to cop, uh, you want to import, and in my case they're on photos. And remember, we're pretending we copied them from our internal drive. And here's this folder called Lightroom Photos. If I select that, Lightroom is going to be looking for all the photos inside of that folder. Now, again, I've got over 40,000. And then you would choose Add. That will not move anything. It won't change anything. It won't copy anything. It leaves everything exactly where it is, which is what you want. But it just makes the Lightroom catalog aware of them. Okay? So I'm not going to choose Add because with over 40,000 photos, the process took about an hour because I timed it. So I don't have time for that. So trust me, that's what you would do. Click add and you're basically done. Now your new catalog knows where all of your images are on your external drive. Cool? All right. I'm going to hit cancel because we're not going to do this. But I have already done it. And I just want to show you that I ain't lying. Uh, let's go to... Da -da 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 -da. Let's go here. And here's the catalog I created uh, when I was timing this process. And here it is. Um, as you can see up here, it says 41,729 photos. So it worked. Here's all the folders. So it'll work, right? It, it, it'll work for you. I'm t trust me on this. It's, it's, it's the way to go if you're new to Lightroom and you've moved your photos off of your internal drive. Okay, so scenario number two, you've been using Lightroom for a while. You want to keep your existing catalog, but you want to move the photos to an external device. Now, in order to show you that, I have to set a new catalog up, which you wouldn't do. Because I'm not going to use any of my existing catalogs because there's just too many photos in them, right? I, I mean, what I'm about to show you um, would apply whether there's one photo in it or 1,000 or 10,000 photos, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm going to create a new catalog and I'm also going to put it in my pictures folder and I'm going to call it pre-exist. So we're going to pretend this is your catalog. You have a pre-existing catalog. So I'm going to call it pre-exist. Lightroom will have to close and relaunch. Okay, here we go. We now have an empty catalog called pre-exist. So I'm just going to put some photos in it because I have to. Now, you're not going to be doing any of this. I'm just trying to set up a catalog that would be similar to your current situation with a current catalog. Okay, so I'm going to import some images. And I'm going to go to the external device called Photos. And I'm going to find a folder called paper rolls because it's just got a few images in it. Here it is. Uh, I'm just going to take seven of them. So I'm going to import these using add. It's not going to move them. It's not going to copy them. It's going to leave them exactly where they are inside this folder called paper rolls. So I'm going to hit import. Here we go. Here we go. So here's photos. This is my device photos. Inside of it is a folder called paper rolls. We're going to pretend this folder paper rolls is the folder on your internal drive 
that you've been using your Lightroom catalog with. Okay, so you're currently using a, a catalog that has photos that are on your internal drive. We're going to pretend that this catalog is the same. So I'm just going to take because maybe you have some collections. I'm going to create a collection by choosing the receipt images, clicking on collections and go and create collection. I'm just going to call it rolls. Doesn't matter what I call it. I'm going to call it rolls. So now we have a collection. Here it is with three of the images in it. Here's the folder with seven of the images that we've imported. And I'm going to take one of these images and just do a quick edit on it uh, because all right, so I'm just going to increase its uh, exposure a little bit. Um, I don't know, clarity. And since it's pretty monochromatic, I'll make it black and white. Okay, so we've edited the photo. All right, let's go back to the library module. So one of these photos is edited. Three of them are in a collection. That pretty much covers uh, your scenario, whether it's one photo or 100,000 photos. You want to use this current catalog even though you're going to move the images, right? That's the point. So now I'm going to quit Lightroom. And now I'm going to go to my photos drive. And this would be analogous to your internal drive for this particular demo. And I'm going to find that uh, folder called Paper Rolls, which is right here. Okay, and we're going to copy it to another device. I'm going to copy it to a new drive called video. Copying it over. If I go to that video drive, here is a folder called Paper Rolls. Okay, so now I'm going back to my photos drive, which in your case would be your internal drive. And I need to, re this is important. I'm going to rename the Paper Rolls folder on my photos drive. I'm going to put an underscore in front of it just to rename it because we don't want Lightroom to go back to this folder because it will. Okay, so now basically we've renamed this folder and Lightroom won't be able to find it. So we're going to force it to go looking for a new folder, which is the folder that we copied over to video. And again, Here's paper rolls. This is analogous to the, fo the folder that has all of your images that you copied to your external drive. Okay, I'm going to launch Lightroom into this catalog called Preexist, which is analogous to your catalog that you've already been using. Now, if I look at paper rolls in the photos drive, I've got a question mark on that folder. And also the individual images have an exclamation mark. There's only one drive that Lightroom Catalog is aware of, Photos. So in your case, that's probably going to be your internal drive. So it only sees Photos. It doesn't see Video yet. So I'm going to click here, paper underscore roll, rolls underscore two dot DNG. I'm going to go to my Video Drive. I'm going to find Paper Rolls. And I'm going to click on paper underscore rolls underscore two dot DNG and I'm going to hit select. So now notice a new device appears in the catalog. If I twirl down that um, arrow, here's a folder called paper rolls inside of which are all seven images. Notice that the edit I made is intact. Notice that my collections are intact. So this catalog, even though it's now looking at the same images, but on a different device, has all of the edits, all of the settings, all of the collections that it had previously. So that's how you would do this. So this is how you're going to copy your, your photos over to um, an external drive and use the same catalog you've been using. Now there's one more scenario and that would be what if you want to move your catalog to a different place? Is that going to screw things up? Well, actually no. It doesn't matter where you move your catalog to because Lightroom has the file path to your photos which is separate from the location of the catalog. So if I take this folder called pre-exist and I move it 
to yet another drive called audio, which I'll do. On my audio drive, I've got a folder called pre-exist, which is which contains this catalog called pre-exist. I'm going to double click on it to launch Lightroom. And as you'll see, Lightroom, even though the catalog itself is in a different location, it still knows where all the photos are. Paper rolls. Here's the collection. This one's black and white. So we're good to go. So it really doesn't matter uh, where the catalog is. Um, in relation to the photos, as long as that catalog knows the file path to the photos. Okay, I hope this clears up what really amounts to a lot of confusion for people. Um, so, there you go, guys. Hope this was helpful. See you next time.